guys, how's it going? Make sure to vote in like two weeks. So for today's video, after my incredible success of chocolate making, I needed a new food thing to create. I contemplated a couple different things, but the obvious choice was to create my own wine. I first thought I would maybe make vodka from potato because that's a stronger alcohol, but apparently I didn't even know this, that in the United States, distilling alcohol is illegal and they say you, fa you could face jail time if you do it. That wouldn't be the best thing to do on camera, but beer and wine isn't illegal to make. It's only the harder alcohol ones that are. Typically, wine is made with grapes, but as I looked into the process of making wine more, it can really be made with any fruit. Even tomato wine is a thing. Based on that, the obvious choice for this channel was to create my own pineapple wine. And hopefully when this works, I can get drunk off it. I can get, I can get drunk off pineapple. And wine also does get better with age so maybe I'll even be able to save this and drink it on like my wedding night just like the chocolate video it's gonna take a while this is might even take longer this might this whole process might take a month at this current moment I don't really know anything about the process I just bought the stuff that I'm gonna need we're gonna be using these three pineapples I think this should be enough I got these from Costco Costco I swear always has the most voluptuous pineapples should I try to juggle them the most important thing that I bought though was this wine making kit. That's my address. It pretty much comes with everything that I'll need to make wine, which really helps because there's a lot of random things like that I've never even heard of. I'm just gonna be following this recipe book that the kit came with. But to begin, we have to go over the ingredients that we're gonna need. Three pounds of pineapple, six pints of water, one and three fourths pounds of sugar, a fourth teaspoon tannin, one teaspoon nutrient, one Camden crush, and then one package wine yeast. That's all the ingredients I'll need. This is the method how we're gonna make it. It's a pretty short paragraph. Select fully ripe pineapples, cut off the stalk and rind outside. So cut the pineapple, uh, that's easy. I've done that thousands of times throughout my life. Cut in half and remove the hard core. Chop into small pieces, put into nylon straining bag. This part's gonna be weird. They want me to literally smash and squeeze the juice out with this bag. Whoa, that actually gave a lot of juice. I really like doing these food making videos. They're almost like relaxing to me. Keep all pulp in bag, tie top, and place in primary. Step two, stir all ingredients except yeast. Step three, after 24 hours, add yeast. When ferment reaches SG 1.04, three to five days, strain juice lightly from bag. Step six, when fermenter reaches 0.1, about three weeks, siphon off the sediment into secondary. That's it, that's all the instructions. I'm gonna be honest, I, I did not compute like half of what I just read. I guess that's all I have to say for now. Let's go to the kitchen and begin the process of making my own wine. So after I did that and I mixed all the ingredients together, which I didn't realize how much sugar I was going to put, I let it sit in this bucket for 24 hours until the next night when I added the yeast, which is the most important ingredient that we're gonna be using. But then I let it sit for another four days and stirring it daily like the instructions said. I was pretty surprised by how strong, even just on the fifth day, it already smelled like wine and a strong alcohol scent. The next step after that was to transfer everything in that bucket to this glass jar or where it's gonna sit until it's done really. And during this whole process, one thing I felt, kind of like the chocolate video, I felt like I was doing this process wrong because I'm not really doing any of the work. All the work is being done by the yeast, which magically turns all that sugar I put in into alcohol. So that's why I wanted to bring attention to a holiday that we don't celebrate enough, Yeast Appreciation Day, YAD. According to this website, it's May 30th. Why do we celebrate yeast? This amazing microorganism works so hard for us and even suffers its own life to produce so many products we enjoy. And I actually saw that happen in the wine. During the couple weeks, it all gathered at the bottom. So this is a yeast graveyard. All the little yeasts died. Anyway though, that's all I needed to do to make the wine. The only thing left was to wait the two to four weeks until it's done. So finally, nearly a month later, we have the final product. It does kind of look like a giant jug of pee. 
but that's fine. It's set to do it for two to four weeks, but I want to film this video already, so I did it for three, which I think is good enough. It's done by now. A gallon of wine is a lot. I'm gonna have to drink a lot. I'm gonna have to get drunk a lot. Before we try it, to test that this actually worked and it has alcohol in it, because if it doesn't have alcohol, it, this is just old pineapple juice. To test it, we have to find the gravity of the liquid using this. I don't know what this is. It looks like a bunch of, it looks like a bunch of metal balls with blood in it. Apparently this thing finds the gravity of liquid. It checks the density of a liquid, which when it has a lot of sugar, it makes the water heavy, but the alcohol makes it lighter. So it should be less dense. Maybe I should do this on a flat surface, not my hand. So now the rating looks like it's at 0.99, which if I'm reading it right, I think that's what it's supposed to do. If you put these numbers into a calculator, this is how you find the percentage of the alcohol. 0.99, it should be 13.13% alcohol, which is pretty high. I would definitely be able to taste that. So this is good news. That means I think it worked. It's pretty wild just how easy it is. I was thinking about this now. I obviously don't want this to encourage anyone underage to drink, but I was thinking about like as a kid, I might not have had access to alcohol, but I had access to sugar and some yeast. Parents out there need to watch out if they catch their kid with yeast. Now to get the full experience when tasting it, I put it in this wine bottle that as you can see, I got custom made by the finest design team. Definitely not a cheap bottle that I tore off the label and printed off this. And I think this is the bottle that I'm gonna keep it in for however long I age it, which I have to look up. I don't know if all wines can just be aged like regular grape wine. I think I've talked enough. It's time to actually open it and actually try it. It actually does smell really good. It doesn't act just smell like juice. It actually smells like wine. Whoa. It is strong. I've never had wine do that before. It just takes over your entire tongue, the flavor. I'm really impressed. I didn't even say that with the chocolate. Actually, I might have said it was the best chocolate I've ever had, but I was kind of joking with that. I like this better than I think most wines I've ever had. I don't know why they don't make pineapple wine. I'm so happy that this actually worked out. I might actually do what I said. I might drink this entire bottle. Oh, shit. should I chug it? Oh my God, I don't know if I should have done that. It definitely has alcohol in it. I don't know if it's as enjoyable when you just chug it like that. I went from being happy and now I'm kind of like, that was a lot of wine. That's crazy that you just put some sugar in and yeast and it just turns into alcohol. This was such a success, I need to get Kitty. Uh, I think that's all for this video. Is that all I had to do? I think I just had to taste the wine and do the outro. Oh, I wanted to edit this. How am I gonna edit it drunk? Should I finish this off? After I chugged it, it kind of gave me a bad taste. Let's see how much it is. Ah, oh, it's like another full thing. <laughs> I'm definitely done. That was a lot. <clears throat> I'm really feeling it. I wasn't expecting to get this drunk on this video. Hey, what else did I need to say in this outro? <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video or <laughs> learned something from this process. I think if you're of age, much like the chocolate video, I think this is a fun thing to just try, even if you're in your free time, not even if you're not filming a video. Am I stumbling? Some of you actually let me know that you tried out the chocolate making. And the craziest thing, someone on Instagram actually messaged me that they made an entire business now that they sell chocolate and make it. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to say this outro. Maybe I wanted to say other things, but I honestly, can't, I can't think right now. This really worked, I'm really drunk. Thank you, thank you all for making the end of this video. Thank you all, I'll see you next time.